Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Oz Mining YouTube channel. It's the 23rd of May, and yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys a really quick update, something I've been watching for the last few days, and we are... We're in between ETH dev calls at the moment, and uh, yeah, just seeing some very interesting uh, spikes on the Ethereum average block time chart. So before we get into this, I uh, just want to say yeah, thanks to everyone who's been following the channel so far. Appreciate if you can uh, give some likes, feedbacks, and uh, please click on the subscribe button. Just really good to see uh you know the feedback uh we get and lets us know that we're di um giving you guys the right content that you want to see also please watch at the end uh we have decided to do a giveaway and the giveaway is going to be a little bit in the theme of the eth merge countdown uh so it's going to be a giveaway related to that and we're going to be targeting to get to 1000 followers that's all i'll say for now uh watch the end of the this uh, video and you'll see a bit more about this uh, giveaway that we're going to do so what have i been seeing you know this is the eth average block times over the last what's the six years now and you see here there have been some uh spikes you know the the sort of average block time is you know sort of around that sort of 13 sort of 12 to 13 seconds and you know we have had some huge uh, spikes in the past where it's gone up to over 30 seconds and this is the average block time uh per day you know obviously within that that can be uh further fluctuations up and down and uh, yes yeah, so if we just jump across to the actual so you can go to etherscan.io and i'll leave the link to this um down below in the video so what you'll see here is the ethereum average block time chart per day and uh, look it doesn't look like there's much happening along here you'll see some big spikes here and there's also been some spikes here you'll see um particularly uh you know the last couple of years you would have seen a lot of news around the uh, difficulty bomb um, being set off and there has been a few times where um, that has started to uh, impact on the uh, block times and you know it's, it's I guess it's worth just thinking what does increase in block times mean well look for me as a I guess a purist who believes in uh, blockchain just from a, I guess a customer experience point of view no one really wants uh, exaggerated block times. Just means the network starts to slow down, takes longer to, you know, produce blocks. The whole blockchain starts to, I, I guess, really slow down. From a mining point of view, what does that mean? Well, if blocks are taking longer to uh, be produced, uh, that means the amount of block rewards that are available to miners are slowing down as well. So that means profitability will slow as well. Not what we really need at the moment. You know, if you look at the, uh, I have a little uh, on coin market cap. I guess my watch list of coins um, that I'm uh, mining, and uh, you know, so I've got a few here, and I'll see where we we got a Bitcoin and Ethereum at the top here, and you know, we're all seeing the pain at the moment. You know, uh, it's it's been a tough few weeks, and uh, uh, you know, so I keep an eye on, on obviously Ethereum, and you know, if we look at the past uh, year, it's not been uh, very, very kind to us. Uh, if we look at that, you know, we're kind of around that all-time lows in the past 12 months. Uh, you know, look, let's look at the uh, the big picture. Look, you know, it's still not the end of the world. But if we're mining, then, you know, we're mining certain profitability uh, based on, you know, hash rate and difficulty. And, you know, this drop here, you know, if, if you look from going for about 4,000, and, and, and this is Aussie dollars I'm doing. So if you look at about 4,000 Aussie dollars down to about uh, 2,800, you know, you're looking at sort of 30, 40% drops, which kind of then, you know, turns into 30 to 40% drops in our profitability. So not nice. So, you know, all things happen with the merge, with um, the, the price of ETH crashing, with the, the rest of uh, cryptos. Uh, and also this potential difficulty bomb starting to kick in and the network slowing down, which also impacts our profitability. There are a lot of impacts on us miners at the moment, hence why I'm paying a lot of attention to this very innocuous looking chart here. And this is the interesting thing. Zoom in here. Look, you know, if you look at the past from Jan 2020, let's look at the spikes. 13.5. Let's look at the spikes. 13.42. 13.71. Where are we now? 13.90. We're almost at 14 second block times. That's an average per day. So if we double click and what you do to zoom in is you actually actually don't know, but you kind of you hold your mouse, you scroll over, 
and you let go and that then shows you the daily average block time so you can see here from april so the last month they've been creeping up 13 and a half 13 and a half 13 and a half 13.89 77 85 92 so you can really see that the the block times have been increasing we're getting close to that 14 which is you know i feel quite important once we hit 14 we get into 15 and i know the eth development team have sort of got their eye on on the 15 mark so let's just go back to reset the zoom and maybe let's just drill into here look there was some spikes around this time you know where do we get to 13.8 13.6 so you know you can see we, we really are hitting some of the the highest average block times we have in over two years you know so th th this is really big news and hence why i wanted to uh just uh shout this out in the community so we can i guess be prepared for network slowing down and you know further impacts to our profitability uh let's jump out of this and let's just go to a slightly different way of looking at this this is another graph of the uh ethereum block time um averages per day and you can see you know we got this massive spike back here at the end of 2019 and you know we do have these occasional spikes here and this is measured by uh i guess decimals uh of a second so you know points that's point two three of a second so if we just bring up our uh, calculator here and so if we say like let's say point two three so if we go 60 seconds times point two three equals 13.8 seconds you know again this is different look at this is bit info charts so you know what can happen here in my view if we go back to this you can see here once the the average block time starts to snap through certain barriers you can really see big um, uplifts you know it can be a bit of a step um formation here but you know my view is you know this could potentially start to ramp up really quickly in a matter of a few weeks we could be seeing the block times creep over 15 16 um you know even getting close to 20s which can have a really big imp impact on the network uh, for users and also minus profitability let's just take a step back a minute and look if you so there's a uh i'll put a link down below here called when merge obviously we're all wondering when the merge is going to be so very aptly titled and you'll see from some of my previous video videos they've been doing lots of shadow forks and testing um i talked about in my last video that the ropstein merge is the test net is being merged soon uh, and that is sh scheduled for the 8th of june so let's just look at the calendar here uh we're in we're on this is monday the 23rd of may and so we got uh let's say one week let's go into june two weeks so we've got just over so say two weeks in a, in a few days before they complete the ropstein merge so there's going to be a dev call this uh when is it i think it's the 27th so at the end of this week where i expect we'll be locking in you know no changes to the the timed um pla planned um test that merge of ropstein uh there could be some delays potentially but um we can only we can only pray as miners i guess uh and then you know after that um we're going to be moving i, I think what we're hearing is it's going to be a then a two-week delay to do additional code um, before they might do the Guerli merge and another two week um, gap before they do the Sapolia merge. Um, now, that, again, there could be similar to what we had um, pre this testnet merge. There could be two weeks of doing um, code um, additions and then maybe a two week to do some testing. So it could be between two and four weeks um, for each of these merge, but I guess the shortest time possibly is two weeks. So if you're looking from 8th of June, add on two weeks then you'll get to let's just go back down here again you get from the 8th of june to the 22nd of june another two weeks you'll go to the 6th of july so that is kind of getting pre-ready for mainnet merge so you could say you know maybe a few more weeks then for mainnet merge the earliest that could happen is 25th july um again this is not exact advice this is just um my potential earliest merge date look realistically there could be some issues in here they might do a little bit of a longer time here you know let, let let's read into there's a longer line between these testnet mergers and the uh the mainnet merge so you know i i think look whilst the earliest the mainnet merge could happen 
and we and you know uh, if uh, proof of work gets switched off uh, could happen you know sort of late July uh, I think the earliest realistic is probably around August sometime but again you know that that could be delayed by weeks months years we don't know but I think it's just good for us miners as we're starting to plan what we're going to do is just to be aware when the earliest it could happen um, so uh, again why am I looking at this? Well, again, depending on some of these tests that merges, um, we've got the, the dev call coming up on the 27th of May. A key topic is going to be the average block times on, on the network. You know, we have heard, um, you know, the dev saying, and I think even um, Vitale himself said, you know, we have had block times of over 20 seconds before and the world did not end. So quite a sweeping statement there saying, look, you know, as we're moving close to the merge, we may just have to deal with extended block times. Uh, you know, I, I have also heard some comments in the dev calls, the last three or four dev calls around, you know, they are worried about if they do diffuse the difficulty bomb, reduce those average block times. It will be a opportune moment for a fork to be, uh, I guess, a rogue fork to be taken um, off the latest code that will then be used by I guess the rogue fork to then continue proof of work on a I guess a you know potentially a competitor to the you know post ETH merged um, proof of stake uh, network that they are building here so I think there is a little bit of protectionism um, building into this decision around the ETH difficulty bomb delay I think that what they're saying is let's deal with the longer uh, block times in the short term, short term pain, maybe not good for uh, you know our, our customers using the network and it's not good for miners, but we don't care that much because what, what we don't want is a, a, a rogue community taking a copy of the latest code of Ethereum with a difficulty bomb diffuse because what that means is then they've got a long time to diffuse that difficulty bomb um, before it kills that rogue fork if they leave the difficulty bomb in there if someone takes a copy of that fork they're really going to struggle to unwind that code and de defuse the difficulty bomb so it's not a given that they're going to defuse this bomb they might just let it run until we merge so that's something to be aware of as miners and that means profitability is going to be squeezed and squeezed to the very last uh, block that's going to be um, mined uh, on proof of work so with that said let's just look up here so another good link is on github they have got the uh the dev call 139 scheduled uh for 27th of may um at 1400 hours utc 90 minutes is normal um and look at the agenda so merge update shadow shadow fork updates there's some other elements here i'm sure we'll be talking about um ropstein they've also got the girly test net in there as well so think about the next stage and here's something really interesting the difficulty bomb tracking. So this is really interesting. So if we if, actually, if we just open this up and see what's on this thread, and this chart shows um, blocks produced per week, and obviously if that difficulty blows out, the blocks will really reduce, and that will obviously slow the network up. Less blocks equals less rewards equals less profits. So I hope that's starting to make sense now about this, this correlation with um, average block times, rewards, profitability, and also winding that in with the whole um, ETH merge, uh, I guess, roadmap. So it's um, interesting um, if we go down here, they're starting to talk about you know, actually, let's just scroll down here. I think an interesting comment is, um, okay. So if you go to the bottom, it's the most recent, 11 days, some new charts. Back in December, I was asked to predict 15 second block times by mid-June. So impossibly certain, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's through a case. We're close to 14 second block times. So obviously, you know, maybe the community, the dev team was asking, you know, when we're hitting 15 second block times, um, they thought around mid June. The dash, the dash red lines were the last time we we're at the same period in each of the previous forks. So interesting, yeah. Um, 
much higher hash rates now has tampered down the effect. So what they're saying is, if there's more people mining and there's more hash power, it's actually diluting the effects of the um, difficulty bomb. So, so in a way, you know, if all the miners, and I know we had the great hash rate migration test um, last week, you know, if all the miners actually switched off all of their um, GPUs, even for an hour or two, the you know obviously the the network would grind to a halt. We wouldn't make any profits, but you know you, you can kind of see that, that there's that correlation again around um, all that hash power. The more hash power, the more the network can, you know can can be sped up. And uh, so so that I think that's just quite interesting. Um, obviously, developers are keeping an eye on the average block times, and again, a bit to my um, other graph going back here, you start to see this average block time increase. That's when you'll also see the number of blocks reduce. So, you, you know, you kind of get this inverse um, correlation going down with blocks reduce. And you can sort of see when it starts to turn, as I said earlier, it can go very rapidly down. Maybe, like they said, a little bit diluted because we've got a lot more hash power on the network now. Yeah, so look, that, that, that's pretty much it, really. So I'm watching this every day. Uh, I'll be interested to see what you guys think. But this slight spike here and you'll see you know i have on this uh thing here done a little zoom in you can see that you know that that is where it all starts there so you know looks like looks like block times are going to get over 14 seconds in the next uh you know maybe 24 48 hours you know again unless a whole heap of hash rate um jumps onto the network and um you know th this could mean we're going to see a very big spike soon so guys just want you to be aware i want to share a little bit of info on that definitely tune in um later this week on the 27th to see what's happening on the dev call i will try and do my usual sort of 15 20 minute wrap up um key outtakes and we'll have to digest and yeah see what that means for us miners so guys thanks for watching Please uh, like, subscribe, give any feedback, what you think about um, the block times at the moment, what you think some of the decisions are going to be in the dev call later this week. And also hang around now. I'm just going to run you guys through um, the uh, the giveaway that I'm going to do, uh, which I'm, I'm titling the, uh, the ETH Merge uh, Countdown Giveaway. And I'll catch you again soon on the Oz Mining YouTube channel. So what are we giving away? We are going to be giving away 30 Super Zero or Zero, 20 Conflux and 10 Flux. Why are we going to give it away? Well, look, we uh, we, we have empathy with uh, the community, fellow miners. You know, the ETH merge is uh, coming. So to, I guess, commiserate the ETH merge countdown, we're going to do a giveaway. And what we're kind of saying is, look, we're waving goodbye to ETH, but hey, look, there are some uh, great uh, projects and coins out there. Uh, maybe profitability won't be great to start with, but look, you know, we, we've got a future we need to look at. And three of the coins I'm mining at the moment and, uh, you know, think have potential upside in the future, this is not financial advice, are, uh, yeah, Super Zero, Conflux and Flux. So what are we going to be doing? So we are targeting 1,000 subscribers uh, by the 8th of June. 8th of June? Well, that is the Ropstein uh, testnet merge date. So if we reach 1,000 subscribers by the 8th of June, then we will be distributing these three prizes across three randomly chosen subscribers. So it's pretty simple. Subscribe the 48th of June. And if we get a uh, thousand subscribers, so obviously share with your network, share the love. Obviously there's great content on the channel. We're trying to boost up our subscribers. And if we get a thousand before the uh, Ropstein proposed uh, merge date, which is the 8th of June, Ropstein gets pushed back. We'll still stick with the 8th of June. Then we'll be doing the, the giveaway. If we don't make a thousand by that date, then look, we might just push it uh, another week or something. So we'll we see how we go. But that's the target, guys. A thousand subscribers by the 8th of June. Then three lucky subscribers will be chosen randomly. And we'll win the three prizes here, which is 30 Super Zero, 20 Conflux, or 10 Flux. So, guys, really appreciate all your support on the channel. We've got some great conversations going. And, uh, yeah, good, good luck on the competition. And uh, we'll try and keep some more great content coming your way. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.